What is up, everybody? Tech Chucker here, and welcome to episode nine. Can you believe it? Episode nine of This Week in Dioramas. Now, if you're not familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking dioramas, and I showcase them right here on this show. If you would like to be considered for a future showcase, make sure you're uploading your diorama project pictures to Instagram and tagging them with the hashtag this week in dioramas. In today's show, nearly every single project that is being showcased was tagged with the hashtag this week in dioramas. So if you aren't seeing a project you think should be showcased, you should let the diorama creator know that they need to start using that hashtag. That way then I can find it and actually showcase it. So make sure they know to use that hashtag this week in dioramas. All right, we're about ready to get started, but before we do, we need to reveal the winner of last week's fan vote. Now, if you don't recall who we were voting for, it was the Delhi Storefront by 52420, the Hard Times Pawn Shop by 16 District, the Full Service Garage by 1 to 10 World, the Doctor Strange Detolf by Rhino Dioramas, and the Sewer Diorama by Janaski Kalutsky. All of these were amazing entries, but unfortunately only one could win, and the winner is... Doctor Strange Detolf by Rhino Dioramas. Congratulations to Rhino Dioramas for the win. This was an awesome project. Thank you everyone for participating in the vote. It was a lot of fun. Again, we went well over a hundred votes, which is so cool. So make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end where I will choose my top five from this week and you'll get the opportunity to vote for your favorite again. Alrighty, we're just about ready to get started, but one quick little note to all of you diorama creators out there. I used to send out a Instagram DM to everybody that was featured each episode. I am no longer doing that. I'm only going to send that note out to those that are newly being showcased that have never been showcased before. So just so you're aware of that, you're going to have to check back each week to see if your projects are being showcased. And with that, I want everyone Everybody to get ready, put your seat backs and tray tables in their upright positions, get your popcorn, sit back, relax, buckle up, and let's get started with the drip drip Driporama with this project. This one is really cool. This is, uh, what is it, Rax Kingdom Diorama from the first of the North Star. I have no idea what that is, but I don't care because it is a really cool diorama. We're going to click in and find they've got another set of pictures that we're going to take a look at if I can actually find them here right here so this is a really cool diorama awesome picture here I think I don't know I think this is a stock picture this is what it's based off of but this is what the end result is and I think it's really cool let's play this little video There's just so much cool detail in this project. I really, really love it. I like the uh, the little dust effect that you've got going on there. I don't know if that's an overlay or if that's actually something happening in the room, but that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and see this last picture. Again, I think that's a stock picture. But again, thank you so much, Drippo-Rama. I think I said that wrong before. Thank you so much for submitting. This is a really cool project, so check it out. Give them a like and let them know that we sent you. And next we've got, of course, another dumpster from D's Diorama. I really like your work, always doing such great paintwork. So awesome job with that dumpster. Next up is coming from the model vault and uh, they said that I don't need to say the rest of the name but this one is really cool this is uh, obviously a Star Wars it's 1 15th scale Rancor uh, looks like a vinyl kit 
I don't know what a vinyl kit is, <laughs> but it looks really, really good. I'm assuming you painted all of these uh, figures and whatnot, but I really like it. It looks so cool. Love the water effect. I'm wondering if you are in the comments, can you tell me what you used for that water effect? What kind of resin or whatever that might be? So awesome job with this little display piece. Love in the dirt. Looks great. Your paintwork is awesome. So thank you very much for submitting this for the show. Next is a really cool display. It's not actually a display, it's a prop, and this is from 52420. It's a spray can, but the thing that is super cool, once we get through some of these pictures, they've got a video. Now, I don't think you're gonna be able to hear it, but this is so cool. So this little can, let's see if I can turn the microphone a little bit. I don't know if you could hear that. Okay, that was so cool. So that little spray can that he's got there, when he shook it, if you couldn't hear that, it actually has the little ball inside and is, is making the noise when you shake a spray can. That's amazing. That is so cool. I Just awesome job. I love it. This, I mean, that's one of those de details that you don't even have to add but you added, so awesome job. I'm pretty amazed by that. Next up is this really cool Dragon Ball Z uh, display from Iconic Toys uh, for sale. I don't know if they've sold it or not yet, but this is really cool. It's essentially a snowscape. Let's click in here. This is really, really nice. I love all the detail. Look at that. Look at the blast effect on the wall there. That is so cool. What an amazing display. Awesome job to Iconic Toys. This is, I mean, just a superb piece. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for tagging this. Really awesome to be able to showcase this on the show. Here's a nice display by the Beyond 1138. It is, uh, they're calling it a mini warehouse diorama. Really, really liking the brick work that you've got here. I love the little switch that you've got. I, awesome job. I think the detail is really good. The door looks so nice. I think he did a awesome job, especially with the floor. Uh, it's, it's really, really good woodwork uh, and on the actual crate there. So awesome job. I really dig it. I, I think he did a really nice job. The boxes, the, the, those really help also. So awesome job. Love this display. Next up is from Mr. Zombies Workshop. I am digging this piece as well. I think your floor looks really good with the paintwork that you've done. It looks nice and worn and weathered. You did a great job with that. The rest of it obviously is also looking really good with the little power box that you've got there and your garage door looks pretty darn nice. You got a couple of dents and whatnot there. So awesome job, really digging this. Let's see what other pictures you've got here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think you've got it in a detolf. I think that cable that we saw on the other one, probably a light. So really digging on this. It looks so good. So thank you very much for submitting this. And check this one out. It is another one from Drippo-Rama. I really like this one. It's uh, right now he's got Freddy in there, but look at this detail on this diorama. I mean, it is so cool. Obviously the lighting is amazing to give it that red tinge. But look at that, you've got the furnace here. All of these pipes and chains and whatnot really set this thing apart. It is such a great piece, so awesome job. I'm really digging it. A couple more pictures would have been awesome, but honestly, you took such a nice picture here. Uh, that, you know what? It's, it's pretty darn awesome. So thank you so much for participating. Next is coming from Lorenzen Dioramas, another display uh, similar to some of his others, but the paintwork on this is really good. Look at the rust work on these barrels. They're obviously kind of buried in dirt and junk and whatnot. They've been there for a long time. I just really am digging this. I like your little rock brick wall that looks great and then obviously the figure here I don't know is this acid rain it's 1 18th scale I think it might be an acid rain figure I I don't know but awesome job the paintwork is so good let's get some more pictures in here look at that great job attention to detail with your little rubble and whatnot so this is just a great project awesome job to Lorenz and dioramas give them a like and next coming from Reco 
underscore ch another one of these giant pieces i love it uh, obviously he is commissioning these out and people are snatching them up so if you're interested in a commission similar to this they do a couple others that i've seen before as well uh, hit them up and see what you can do to get a deal made but this is just a phenomenal piece their work is always always so good can't remember what scale it is so it's a six inch scale 39 inches across 30 and a half inches tall 21 inches deep so it is a pretty good size diorama awesome job your paint work your sculpt work is always so on point i love the graffiti so awesome job go check out reco underscore ch and uh, probably dm them if you are interested in a commission Moving right along, we've got another diorama here from Sage JDG. This is kind of a ruined rubble uh, staircase. This looks really good. What I really love about this is you've got the rock curving in a little bit, and that just gives it that age feel that, uh, you know, if it was straight, yeah, you could still make it look good, but the fact that it's kind of curving in and it's leaning, that is awesome. And your paintwork is always so good. So awesome, I love it. Let's see if we can get in a couple more pictures. Look at the paint details. There's so many different little colors that you don't necessarily notice when you first glance at it, but look at the little extra darkness that he's got going on here and throughout. So uh, this is awesome, look at, look at that. The, I mean, the texturing that you've done is really, really nice. I mean, it looks so realistic. So awesome job. Thank you again for submitting. This is a great piece. Here is a really cool display by Rhino Dioramas. This is an X-Men Mansion gate and it is really looking good. I like your columns here with the little ball things on the top, but the gate is probably the best part. I really love how you've got the X symbol splitting in half to be able to open. So awesome job. Go check out Rhino Dioramas. Hit them up if you need something 3D printed. Uh, check out their website, rhinodioramas.com. Uh, they got a whole bunch of different designs that you can choose from. Here's an ice machine from D's Diorama. I uh, really cool I think this might be the second one that you've done or at least second one that you have submitted so check them out you might even be able to hit them up on DM and maybe get a commissioned piece out of them as well so awesome job the paintwork looks really really good loving the sculpt Next up is a Star Wars display from Kokoi72. One uh, twelfth scale Star Wars looks really good. You've got, uh, what is that, Ray? I don't remember. Um, but I like this, it looks super good. I'm really loving these sculpted pieces that you've got here with the, I don't know if these are like laser or what, but then you've got some big cracks going on there. So awesome job, I'm really digging it. So go check out Kokoi72, give them a like, and uh, let them know what you think of this diorama. And here's a piece by Demiel1985, again, sucker for the turtles so awesome uh, but check this out it's a simple little wall piece but you know what I really like is you've got I believe some brick down here on the ground and then you've got the concrete I like those extra little details I think that looks cool and then you got a couple extra bricks laying there but I think your brick paint work did is really really nice you got some different variations with the colors let's see what else we got here uh, obviously having the little newspapers splattered onto the uh, onto the concrete is awesome but look at this I didn't notice this before the concrete stops and then you see more brick so that is a really cool detail you same thing right here those are some details that I always really like is when people will do that uh, hidden brick uh, kind of feature and it always looks so good loving this little cord to the power cable or to the power box so awesome job to Damiel 1985 go check them out here is, well, it looks to be another ice box, but that's not the whole project here. This is from 52420, another kind of streetscape that uh, looks so cool. There's so much detail just on this door. Look at all the little posters and whatnot. This column looks amazing. I mean, that is so cool. And I, it's, it's hard to know where to look, but this little, this is another part of that deli that uh, they submitted before, but we're seeing a few more pictures of it. So awesome job, look at this. You've got garbage 
up on the, the roof awning area. That is so cool. Your, your paintwork and detail is next level. It's so amazing. So thank you so much to 52420 for uh, submitting this so that we could all take a look at it because it is such, such talent here. Here is another display by 52420. This is just a, an apartment room, whatever, and it is really grimy. <laughs> I certainly would not want to live in this apartment. Let's see, I wonder what scale it is. I'm guessing this is 112th scale. But look at all the paint detail on here. I love having the little slats behind here that are poking out. Awesome job, really, really nice detail. So again, go check out 52420. Their, their work is, your work is really, really good. Here is another take on the throne. We saw someone else do a throne very similar to this one. This one's coming from Laser Shot. Go check them out. Very, very nicely sculpted. I like how you did that. Uh, it looks really, really good. Nice paintwork on it. So awesome job to Laser Shot. This is a nice little prop piece that you can add to your display. And next up coming from Xenoworks Hero Works is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sewer diorama. You've got awesome paint. I love the ooze stuff that's coming out of these pipes here going into the drains. If you are looking for a diorama similar to this, make sure you hit up Xenoworks Hero Works on a DM, I'm guessing, yeah, DM for commissions and let them know that you are interested because they do some really awesome work. I love your paint work, your rust and, and weathering looks really, really good. I don't know how some of you guys are able to put out so much work so fast. It takes me forever to do anything. So uh, awesome job to Xenoworks Hero Works. Thank you so much for, for participating and again, like I said, make sure you DM them if you are looking for a commission to be done for you. And we've got another one from Xenoworks Hero Works. This is an alien display and I really love this, especially with the lights. This is so cool. I think you did a great job. The grates look awesome, but even better is how this mesh like stuff is broken and the alien is coming through. That is really, really cool. I'm really digging on this. You're, again, paintwork always on point. So go hit them up if you need a commissioned piece. They do some pretty awesome work. Here is what I believe to be a Dragon Ball Z display from DB underscore dioramas. Really nice sculpt work. The paint work looks really, really good. So awesome job with this display. I really like it. Oh, we've got it. It's actually X-Men. Well, it could be for anything. So uh, awesome job with this display. Go check out DB underscore dioramas. Next up is a Batman Lair display from Hemble Creations Customs. I really like this piece. It's just, it, it would just be a great piece to have displayed. You've got, obviously it's in the Bat Cave and the rock is painted so nicely and sculpted so well. And then you've actually got the control center, the command center, and Batman sitting there with his weapons displayed. This is just a great piece. I really dig this and it, it's, yeah, this is just something that I think anybody would love to have. Look at the floor or the grates here. This is so good. Awesome job. Thank you so much to Hemble Creations Customs. Look at that. The screens, they all have little displays on them. This is great. Man, this is awesome. So go check out Hemble Creations Customs and give them a like because this is just a, it's a phenomenal piece. Check out this really creative piece from Pigment Surgery. I always love their work, but this is a G.I. Joe checkpoint. Really cool piece. You've got this little street piece uh, with the gate and uh, obviously this little checkpoint. I love all these lights and cameras that you've got up top here. Some great detail throughout. The signs look really, really nice. So awesome job to Pigment Surgery. As always, thank you so much for participating. Love seeing your work. And here's a piece from Crashbox Customs. Obviously, they do really, really good work. Check this out. I really dig this. So clean. I love all the cables that you've got running through here to the conduit boxes. Look at this door. Look at the detail on the door there. 
That is pretty darn impressive. I really love this. All the trash and whatnot, and then you've got a catwalk type, uh, uh, now I can't even think of the real word for it, but what a great piece. I really love it. You've got essentially a whole street's worth of, of diorama pieces going on here. So this is just a really cool piece. Uh, and that's, oh, look at that. I think this is, yeah, this is a Mezco piece or a display. So awesome. This is really cool. Uh, check out Crashbox Customs, give them a follow and a like because they do some really amazing work and I'm always happy to be able to showcase what you do here. Next up is this piece from Jason Young, Diorama Mayhem. Uh, look at this little 1 12th scale piece. This could obviously be used for uh, Dragon Ball Z or you know, pretty much anything if you wanted, but look at this. I think it looks really good. Your sculpt work is very, very nice. I like the rock that you've got here for the pedestal for some of your figures to stand on. Paint work is looking really good. So awesome job to Jason Young, Diorama Mayhem. Give them a like and go give them a follow. They do a lot of diorama dioramas. Here is a prop piece for a diorama from 1-6 District. Uh, what is this? It's like an, a yeah, it's an AC unit. Look at the paint weathering on here. You've got grayish blue, and then you've got uh, some, uh, what, burnt sienna and whatnot on here. This looks so good. The little color variations that you've got between the darker kind of blue and then the more orangish colors looks so good. And then you've got this great here. Awesome job, really, really nice work. And check out this door, it's really nice, also from 1-6 District, but again, the weathering is so good. Look at this, it looks like it's really actually corroded down here and along the edges, so awesome job. Oh, this must, this can't be 1-6, uh, well, it's gotta be a 1-6 scale. So this is really, really nice paint job. I'm really striving to get my own talent up to this level for the paint work, so awesome job to 1-6 District. Check out this display from Lorenzen Dioramas. This is a staircase wall piece for a uh, subway. And I really am amazed by your detail work. You did a awesome job with all of this. Look at the, the moss lichen kind of stuff that's uh, growing on your walls. Your graffiti is really, really nice. And the weathering looks so good, especially when you're looking at like these signs. The uh, subway signs look so good and you weathered them to make them look really nasty and dirty. So let's take a look at a couple more of these pictures. I, I'm just really really impressed by this piece it's really not that big of a piece but the amount of detail that you threw in here is so good yeah, obviously this is okay 118 scale but look at all of that detail work on this little subway station uh, oh I didn't even notice look at the pipes they've got moss growing on those too awesome and I'm wondering if these straps are those zip ties painted Whatever it is, it looks so good. So awesome job to Lorenzen Dioramas. This is just a really good piece. Next is a video that I really wanted to showcase. It's a little bit long. This is a Sea Goosey's video, but I'm going to go ahead and just play it. I may have to speed it up so that everybody can see it, but look at this. This piece is amazing. I mean, this is just an insane piece. Look at the detail on this thing. Wow. Wow. And I mean, just the, this destroyed house building thing is, look at all the work that must have gone into this piece. Awesome job to see Goosey. Go check him out. He does some amazing work. And this is by far one of the coolest things that, I, I mean, the, the, yeah. Go check them out. This is really, really cool. Here is a cool Dragon Ball Z display by Toy Bills. Uh, looks like this is second diorama he's made so far. And I'm really digging on this. It looks really nice. Your sculpt work is really good with all of these rocks that are sculpted in. Awesome job. Your paintwork is really, really good. So this is a great display piece. It just goes to show that you don't have to be, you know, this seasoned pro to be able to make your own diorama pieces and have it turn out looking really, really good. So go check out Toy Bills uh, and and let them know that they're really doing a good job. So awesome job. Check them out. Here is a Punisher display piece by Bone Claw Customs. This is really nice. I'm really liking your weapons rack. Uh, 
wondering what if this is just a piece of wood that you drilled a whole bunch of holes through dang that's a lot of holes to drill but whatever it is looks really good you weathered it very very nicely you got the little bit of rust up top here and a little bit on the sides here your wood floor looks great that it really looks impressive. I'm really digging that. So awesome job. The Bone Claws Customs. This is a really nice piece. Here's just a single picture from Dagobah Customs that I wanted to show. Uh, this is a huge piece, but I really like it. This is a obviously Star Wars piece, uh, blah, blah, blah. So that's all I wanted to show you. Go check out Dagobah Customs. Let them know what you think of it. I'm sure they've got some more pictures of this, this display, but we're going to go ahead and move on. Here is a another dumpster from D's dioramas and let's go ahead and just play this already before we get started this x-men display is looking really good he's throwing a little bit of paint on here finishing up the finishing touches on this x-men i guess logo on the back of the dumpster so awesome job thank you again for sharing this these diorama does a lot of really nice uh graffiti work and i'm really digging it here is a cool display piece from uh, Shunuf 2099. This is a Star Wars display piece. I believe it is probably 1 12th scale. Let's go ahead and click through. This little base is the piece that they worked on, but I think they also weathered their uh, the actual Stormtrooper as well. But I think your weathering work with the paint is really good. Uh, I'm assuming that this is not like real dirt and whatnot and that you just painted it and it looks really really nice you did some really good paint work uh, again some more weathering on the action figure we focus more on the dioramas here so let's take a look a little more at this so awesome job with the paintwork really nice little display again this is something if you are a beginner maybe you won't have quite this nice of paint but starting with something very small for a single figure for a display piece is a really good place to get started here is another piece that could be easily used for Dragon Ball Z or displaying any of your action figures, uh, really. But this is from Vasco Toys. Go check them out on Instagram. Really liking the sculpt work that you did with your rock. And look at this little blast effect or whatever that is. It's an impact crater. Uh, really cool. I like that. So let's see some more pictures. Really nice paint work. You got some nice paint uh, variations throughout to give it that extra little bit of realism look so I am really digging this great job to Vasco toys go check them out on Instagram and give them a like here is a cool display that is uh, recreating a comic book I think it's a comic book cover and this is also from Vasco toys really digging the the Punisher display with the uh, uh, the, the actual title here I really like this subway station sign that looks really cool you've got the aim soldiers coming down with Punisher sitting waiting for him but look at the little details here on the ground that looks so good a lot of nice paint variations throughout here your brickwork is really good but this is the actual comic that they are recreating. And I think you did a really good job of recreating this. It looks really, really good. Here is a set of props from one to 10 world, bunch of cardboard boxes and all sorts of stuff. It's a little shipping station. This is cool. This is really awesome. Throw that in with a full diorama and this would really look awesome. All the little details with these little uh, shipping label tags here and then some more shipping labels coming out here and all of the little strings that they've got going. I mean, this is the attention to detail. My gosh, is it's amazing. So awesome job to one to 10 world. This is pretty, pretty amazing. Here's another one coming from 1 to 10 World again. This is a Mazda Porsche car dealership store and this looks really good. I love it. Your detail on here, your weathering. I mean, look at that. You've even got the well, it's a no parking sign, but it's also like those wet floor and all sorts of other, you know, whatever this it's like a TP stand sort of thing but this is just awesome look at that you got the STP and look at the weathering on the sign my gosh your paintwork is amazing this is just 
so cool so again go check out one to ten world your work is so so unbelievable so uh, make sure that if you're not already following them give them a follow Here's a display that you might still be able to get the opportunity to buy. This is coming from Dope Toys NY. Uh, it was a commission where the uh, buyer dropped off and uh, so now they have this display available for someone else to buy. Again, I don't know if it has been sold yet or not, but check out Dope Toys NY and uh, they've got all the details here. But this is a pretty amazing Terminator display piece. Look at this. This is so cool. It's so huge, but I, man, this is so good. So check out the lighting. My gosh, this is amazing. So you better jump on this pretty quick. If this is something that you'd be interested in buying, give Dope Toys NY a DM right away and maybe they can hook you up with this display piece because it is pretty darn cool. Here is a display piece that was actually shared by Diorama Creators and I had to share this. Now this is actually made by uh, Lucas Tattoos. We'll check their uh, profile in just a second, but this is a Walmart store. This looks really, really cool. I'm digging all of the detail that you've got here. It looks super, super cool. So awesome job. Here's a 7-Eleven. They do a lot of really cool work. Uh, here's a tattoo parlor. Awesome. I mean, amazing work. So go check out Lucas Tattoos. And also, if you're not following Diorama Creators, make sure that you do join their Facebook group. They do something similar to what I'm doing where they uh, they repost other Diorama Creators uh, work to make sure that people are getting recognition. But they also have a Facebook group that uh, you can share your work there and if you have questions or whatever you can ask the group and people are more than happy to help each other out so let's go ahead and just click into lucas tattoos profile that way then you can see who this person is and what their work is looks like they're also a tattoo artist so um, go check them out make sure you give them a follow and let them know that uh, their next project project they should take it with the hashtag this week in dioramas all right we're gonna try and play a couple of videos and this is from a toy fair i'm guessing in maybe mexico i don't know but this is just an amazing display i believe it might have been a collaboration of different displays but let's go ahead and just play this it is so epic i mean yeah we'll just play it and you can you can watch So that one was obviously pretty darn epic. Here is another one uh, that Frankie Customs Lab has shared. Let's go ahead and play this one now.
All right, so clearly both of these displays are absolutely unbelievable, ridiculously cool. So make sure that um, I, I, if you guys know who all the creators are, I believe one of the creators is, um, oh gosh, who was it? I saw it in here. I think it's AM Customs Mexico it was maybe one of them, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure because I've seen so many different um, posts uh, that I've seen Master Builder MX. So somebody in the comments let me know exactly who it was that created all of this. If it was a collaboration, I'd love to know who all of them were. I know Frankie, Frankie's Customs Labs, I think they were participated in it some way, shape, or form. <laughs> I don't know, it, it's too much to parse out, but it is such an epic set of displays, so obviously uh, those are pretty darn amazing. Here is a Star Wars display. This one is coming from Stigma Custom Collectibles. I really like this. I think your work is really good. Look at all of the weathering on this stonework that you've got going on here. Really a nice piece. I really love it. I love your uh, stairway here where you've got these different uh, blocks that are completely different color. It really sets it apart and makes it stand out. It looks so good. Awesome job. Let's click through, get a few more pictures here. Look at this. I love the moss. I, the, your moss is really, really good. It's well placed, I think. And your paintwork is so good as well. Look at the little detail. The variation in the stone color there, really nice touch. I love it. So awesome job to Stigma Col Custom Collectibles. Uh, go give them a like and uh, give them a follow because this is some really, really nice work. And here's a piece from Fig... Figdorf B. Willington, another awesome piece from, uh, I believe this is another Indiana Jones, Temple of the Seven, 16 inch diameter by 16 inches high. Look at this, I'm wondering, did you carve these? Please tell me you carved these. This is pretty amazing if you did. Uh, if they're just figures that you found and painted to look like rocks, it still looks pretty darn awesome. So this is a great piece, look at that. That is so cool. And then we've got another picture where this time we've got a Demogorgon in here. Look at this. What a great display piece for pictures. I really love it, especially just how unique it is because the circular form is so different. But awesome job. Look at that. That is so cool. Great job. Thank you so much, Fig Figdorf B. Not sure why I can't say it. Willington for sharing this. Awesome job. Here is a piece that was shared and tagged a while ago by Jason Young Diorama, and I'm still trying to get through uh, some of those. And this is a really cool piece from The Walking Dead, Herschel's Barn. This is a really nice piece. I love the weathering on the wood on the barn. Great job with this. It's just a really, really nice piece. I love all of the grass and then the dirt that you've got going on here. What a great uh, recreation of that scene. You've got these uh, chains here that are still trying to hold that door shut, but the obviously the walkers have gotten through. Awesome job to Jason Young, Jason Young Diorama Mayhem for uh, this pretty amazing piece. All right, we've only got time for a couple more. We're gonna go ahead and show this one. This is from Drape. Dave, this is a really amazing piece. I love all of the different colors that you've got going on here. Great job with this display. Look at all the detail here. You've got the rebar coming through on the concrete pieces. Uh, all of the little grasses I really set this thing out and I just love it. So awesome job. Love this little wood that you've got going up here with a little uh, damaged broken piece there. Awesome job, the detail is so nice. I love the little light on there that gives it really awesome display capabilities. So go check out Drape Dave. This is a really, really nice piece. And last but not least, because I've run out of time, I just don't have the time to be able to go through all of the amazing dioramas, is coming from Risky Cat Creations. This is a matchbox scale, I think that's 1 64th scale display, and this is pretty darn epic when you look at what we've got going on here. This modular piece of all sorts of different streets put together with some parking lots and all that. This is pretty amazing. I love it. Look at the detail work on this. It's just such a great piece to look at all of the uh, 
graffiti here looking really really nice so awesome job to risky cat creations thank you so much for tagging this with the this week in dioramas thank you to all of the diorama creators that participated and were able to be showcased and i apologize to those of you that i wasn't able to showcase this week there's just too many submissions to be able to get everybody in there so hopefully in a future episode we'll be able to get as many of you showcased as possible Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode, but we're not quite done. It's time for me to choose my top five, and you will have the opportunity to vote on the community tab on my channel. And my top five are The Destroyed House by C. Goosey, The Walking Dead Herschel's Barn by Jason Young Diorama Mayhem, The Subway Station Stairs by Lorenzen Dioramas, The Bat Cave by Hemble Creations Customs, and Rouse Kingdom by Drip-O-Rama. Make sure you go to the community tab after this video is done and vote for your favorite, and I will make sure to let everyone know next episode who the winner is. Thank you so much to everybody who participated and submitted your pictures to This Week in Dioramas. Make sure you are tagging your pictures on Instagram with This Week in Dioramas so I can showcase you in a future episode. And thank you to everybody who has watched and been following this channel. I really, really appreciate all of the love and support. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of This Week in Dioramas. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you find out about the next episode. Go out and share this video. Let's grow this show as much as we possibly can. And even more importantly, go upload your diorama projects and tag them with the This Week in Dioramas hashtag so I can find them. And I will see you next week. Thank you.